Hello guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Haunted Gaming. This time, we cover a creepypasta called The Game That Listens. Now, before we begin, I'm actually going to do this word for word. It's fairly short, so that's why. Uh, also, this episode has basically been put out, you know, today because I want to please those people who have come here to watch more creepypastas. Since I only do them once a week, I want to try to do two every week. I am pretty busy, but... I'm gonna try, and yeah, so be sure to check an episode out on Saturday. This isn't an early, early episode. So yeah, let's begin. The story starts with me. I purchased a game called Mario Kart Super Circuit. Well, as you can tell, this game is a Mario game. The plumber from the Mushroom Kingdom who has to save the princess all the time. I got the game from Game Station quite a while ago. The checkout man handed me the game and I paid very little, as it is an old, pre-owned game. At the time, I asked if the game was faulty and he replied with, Alright, oh, the game is in 100% working order. So I bought the game, and when he stopped me and said that the woman who sent the game back said she loved this game but had to leave it as it creeped her out, and she thought she was going insane. When she left the game, the clerk said it also says TGTL on the back. I asked what that meant, and then he said that he was never told, and that I will never know. So I walked home, and realized that the clerk said that the game nearly made the woman insane. But I still played it. The game started as normal, played really well, and other than the writing on the back, it was in pretty good condition. So I was really happy I could play the game and not worry. One time while I was playing the game, I played on Bowser's Castle 1 and was doing extremely well. So I started to mock the CPU, saying that they suck at the game and such. As I, as I was just a boy, my imagination was at its wildest. But when I was mocking the game, I heard a little static and then heard an unexplainable noise and then the game froze, which threw me off a little, but as a kid, I thought my imagination was getting the better of me, so I kept playing. When I started the game, the game still played normally and I wondered what went wrong. When I processed it with my young mind, I thought the game was in a worse condition than I thought, or it was just coincidence, but even my assumptions were wrong. I didn't play the game until about a week later, forgetting about the coincidence. So I carried on with the game, and as, it, as I said, it played normally until I shouted at the game. It caught, uh, cause I lost a race and I really needed to win. And the game did the same as last time. Gone all static and then froze. But seeing this was not coincidence, I turned it off and then turned it back on straight away. And this is what I regret. Because as soon as I turned it on, the game showed a white screen. Text and a voice came out of my Game Boy. The text was black, mostly expected. The voice coming out of the speaker sounded like a calm woman. She said hi. I was extremely scared, so I didn't speak. The screen flashed red, and her calm voice was broken into a horrible, croaky voice, which sounded like she had, she had seen a child get murdered. Answer me, she shouted. So I said hi. Her voice then rumbled back into a calm voice, and I talked to her extremely confused. At this time, I was playing the game. I was on my own. I was too scared to move from where I was. After a while, we talked for a bit, and said that her name, and she said that her name was Sandra, but called herself Tuctile, when in her demonic voice. When I got comfortable, she told me something, but extremely, she told me something, but with extremely little information. As I got used to talking to her, she suddenly stopped talking, and all I could hear was ripping and tearing, no visual content. Suddenly, the game's main screen showed Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad all sleeping, or dead, and the game blacked out. I was of course watching without any movement. I was frightened. It then faded back to the white screen and it said after a few minutes, Hello. There was no answer. I decided to say hello again, and then the game made a clicking noise, and then showed Mario's head twisting. Every time I said a word, Mario's actions differed. I said Sandra, and Mario closed his eyes. I said hello again, and then Mario opened them again. I then said hello for the final time, and Mario smiled demonically. While spinning, this continued for a long time, and then he started laughing maniacally. I waited for a few more minutes, but nothing but the sound of the static getting louder was heard. I turned off the Game Boy as I sat frozen in place, thinking, staring into the blackness of the screen. I managed to turn on the Game Boy another time. It started normally. The game was back to normal. It has been fine since this moment in history. It still makes me freeze when I think about it, but luckily, it's never happened again. What happened after that day? I had a few occurring right in nightmares every now and then, but that only happened for a week or two, 
and then the nightmares left my system. I also didn't play the game after testing one track for about three months. My memory of what I talked about Sandra is quite weak as well. I think I got six questions, but only remember three. This is because I was scared by what happened at the end of my unbearable journey. Question one, who are you? My, my name, Sandra. Question two, Sandra, what does TGTL stand for? The game that listens. Question three, are you a real person, Sandra? Of course, you are speaking to me right now. I may not be here with you, but we still are talking. This is all I remember, so I'm very sorry, but please be careful of what you buy. You never know what could happen. Now, wasn't that interesting? It was a little on the short side, but it was still really good. I really like this because it actually brings something new to the table. A game that listens. I mean, it'd be pretty creepy if a game ever talked to me. I also like this wasn't gory, or it just depicted video game characters getting mangled and dying for no apparent reason other than shock value. For me, it wasn't exactly too creepy. This creepypasta wasn't too creepy because it happened so fast, and I think if the creepypasta was longer, and the talking between the game and the player was more fleshed out and darker, it would have been a much more creepier creepypasta. Because as of now, it just happened really fast, and it didn't make it as creepy as it really could have been. I also wondered who Sandra could have been, and I tried to look her up and see if there was a relationship between a Sandra and Super Mario, or sorry, Mario Kart Super Circuit, but I couldn't find anything. No results at all. I think it also would have been creepier you know, if the player would have talked to someone else, like a deceased serial killer, you know, sort of to, to sort of add more creepiness, because, I mean, imagine if they were talking to a DACA, right? Hell, I even liked the store clerk, since he told the player about the previous owner and how they went batshit insane. Instead of the usual give the game away for free or scream in terror, even though if I was a clerk, I wouldn't mention how the game made someone go insane, after all. <laughs> So, all in all, I find this to be a unique creepypasta that brings something new to the table, and despite its flaws, it's still pretty good. And I recommend you all to check it out, links are in the description below. What would you rate this creepypasta? And what would you add to make it better, and what would you like on the next Haunted Gaming? Please let me know in the comments below. This is me, Mudahar, from Some Ordinary Gamers, and I'm out.